All right, welcome back, guys. Uh, I get a lot of questions about my knife making and leather work. Uh, one of the things that I do with almost every sheath that I make is I harden it, I harden the leather. Um, I just don't like the leather to be floppy. Like, I'm going to take this one out. Uh, you know, it's just... It's not me. I don't like it. I like it to, to be stiff, almost like like a piece of Kydex, where it can actually almost click down into the leather. Now, it won't be perfectly hard like a piece of plastic, but it will be a lot more rigid. This one has been dyed with uh, acorn brown, I think. Uh, it's the only one I use is, is brown. Um, but you can even see this, how it's just the leather is just so thin. Well, it's not thin. It's just floppy. Um, but the process is to preheat the oven at 375 is what I use. You can pretty much use anything between 350 and 400. And I have uh, wax that I bought from a hobby store. And I've got it in a ceramic bowl. Uh, which I'll, I'll have a video of that here in just a second. But I preheat the oven to 375. I put the, the big uh, ceramic bowl inside of it. And I just keep an eye on it. It usually takes about 10 minutes, I'd say to get the the top layer completely liquid and then once you've got enough liquid you can actually take the sheath and put it in the oven uh, but you want to watch very carefully you don't want to cook the leather because uh, I've done that before it just you just gotta be careful with it you gotta keep an eye on it basically the heat that the temperature you want the leather to be is to where it's it's hot enough that you can hold it in your hand but almost too much like it's almost too much heat to hold it uh, but you don't want it to send your hand immediately because then you've you've cooked the leather and you've ruined your your work that you just did um, but I've got the oven going here I've got my sheath ready uh, kind of I, I wet it and kind of formed it around the knife a little bit kind of like you would a piece of kydex heating it up um, it just makes a custom fit it's cool you know these are custom knives the sheath should be custom too um, anyway, I will get the wax going. I'll do my best to film this, even though it's going to be one-handed. I may just have to show you the results from it. It significantly darkens the color, too. That's what I meant to say earlier. Anyway, I'll get right back with you. Just to show you what I got here, 375. It's been preheated. It's been in there for a few minutes. This is a better look at the uh, sheath. Uh, still a little bit wet from me uh, wetting it earlier to shape it. Uh, of course, the knife that's going into it. And here is the, I don't know how you can see that, the wax in that bowl that I was talking about. It's got a thin layer of uh, liquid wax on top. I'm going to let that build up some more, probably another five minutes. And then I will put this in the oven with the wax and uh, let it heat up, preheat the, the leather, I guess you could say. And the idea behind that is that, you know, leather has pores. You know, just like wood has pores, and, uh, well, it's really kind of skin, but the pores will, with the heat, they will open up. Uh, and then once you dunk this through the wax, the open pores will soak up the wax, and then when it cools, it hardens it. It's pretty neat. Pretty cool process. Uh, but we'll get back. Okay, the wax is basically where I need it to be. So what I'm going to try to do is one-handed camera film this at the same time. Let's get my sheath inside the oven with it. And I'm just gonna kinda hold on, give it 30 seconds, flip it, maybe give it another 30 seconds. And uh just uh just start to touch it. Feel it, see what it feels like. I mean this is all this isn't really an exact science. Um, it's just a little project. It's easy. Anybody can do it, really. One thing you do want to be super careful of is when you take that wax out, especially because I've got too much wax in there, and it's a little too full, don't spill it. Uh, especially don't spill it down inside the oven, because then your house will smell like wax every time you use the oven, which I did recently. Spilled a whole bunch down inside of there. And be careful on the stovetop, too. 
Uh, your wife will get really mad at you if you spill wax everywhere because it's really hard to clean up once it's uh, dried and hardened. I think it's probably about time to flip it. Just don't burn yourself in the process too. It's common sense, people. Anywho, I'm going to let that do its thing. I'm going to need both hands to get that out, so I'll take a video once I get it going. Well, I spent all that time talking about how you should be careful not to cook the leather, and it's exactly what I just did. I cooked the leather. I was thinking about what I was going to say and how I was going to shoot the next video, and like, oh, I forgot about my leather. And just to show you what it does, see how that spot curled in really bad? Cooked it. See that? Ruined. Well, it's not ruined. It just looks like crap now. And it even bowed the leather made it curve it just you, you got to be really careful with it I mean this obviously but it, it's kind of Joseph be careful it's kind of cool that that you get to see this so you <laughs> you can see what happens when you screw up uh, I'm obviously not gonna send this on to a customer and I've got one of my knives that I've been practicing you know etching on and doing some other stuff to it paracord wrap. It actually fits this one pretty well. Almost like it was made for it. And since I don't mind it, I'm just going to go ahead and keep this sheath for this knife. I got a, I've actually got a, uh, it's like a Kydex knockoff thermoplastic that I've been using, playing with, that this normally goes in. And now I've got a leather one for it. It just kind of looks like crap. But that's, when you cook it, that's what happens. Shrivels, shrinks. But that was a straight. That was straight when I started. Bows it out, curls it in. So, uh, when I actually do another sheath, I mean, this is like a couple hours of work here. That's that's pretty much gone. i got to start over. And I, I'm, I'm not going to start over right now. So, when I do start over I will get the camera back out and yeah I'm in my work I'm, I'm always in a land tech shirt every time I take a video I'm not sure why but I will get a video going once I try again and hopefully be successful this time maybe I'll have a camera person so I don't screw it up anyway thanks for watching guys. change my mind I've actually uh, I can finish this video I've got several knives here that, that are finished the same method as this one the one that I cooked um, here's one for my chopper. It's a big one. It's like 16 inches overall. Um, oh yeah, this is also cool too. This is the one that I put my etch on. The, which I could, I'm going to need to make a video on how to do that too because it is a long, drawn out process. You need a laser jet printer too. But anyway, this, this was the piece of leather. And it's got a little flop to it. I've worn this out in the woods seven eight nine hikes you know several miles sweating none to it you know sitting in the car with it that'll flop it too but you can that's what it sounds like it's it's hard and it doesn't really I mean it'll flex if you make it but it's not it's not floppy and the knife almost like kind of clicks into place right there And then this little small knife, same idea. You know, this one's actually hasn't been worn very much, so it's it's still a lot stiffer. But same thing. I hope that sound comes out. And it's like flicking a piece of wood. It's very hard. But anyway, that's that's the idea. Just pay attention to the leather when you're preheating it. Don't cook it, and you'll be just fine.